Hey, this is Dustin Haggart from Radon Removal and Home Solutions. So here's the question. On what level should a radon test be done? Basement, first floor. Okay, so you got two different groups of people. Some say, all right, it should always be done in the basement. Others say, well, I don't do anything in the basement, so it should be on the first floor. Okay, neither of those answers is correct when dealing with real estate transactions. Now, before I give an explanation, you can find all this information on the EPA's website. Uh, especially, they have a document called the Home Buyers and Sellers Guide to Radon. So if you're involved with real estate and you're dealing with radon occasionally, definitely check that out. It's a great resource. Okay, so again, the question is, where should the radon testing device be placed? Well, the EPA recommends that in a real estate transaction, it should be placed in the lowest livable level of the home. So if you are an agent or a home inspector, definitely remember this, the lowest livable level of the home. So that means that whether the area is finished or unfinished, if it's an area that could be used regularly, that is where the radon testing device should be placed. So this is not always something that's easy to determine, okay? For the most part, if a basement has a concrete floor, we, in most cases, determine that that is a livable space. But that is not always the case. For instance, yesterday I had a house that I had to go test. They told me that it's a concrete basement, so I'm thinking, okay, most likely that's where the test is gonna be done. Go check it out. It's an older house. The slab is in, in bad shape. There's cracks. The ceiling is very low. It's dirty. It's got stone walls. I determined that it was not a livable space in the basement, even though it had a concrete floor. So that's kind of a, a rare situation, but uh, in most cases that we've seen, when it has a concrete floor, generally that is a livable space down there, but it's not always definite. Okay. One thing to keep in mind with all of this, don't lose your mind in the process of determining whether it's the basement or the first floor. You might be dealing with somebody that disagrees with you, oh, it should be in the basement, it should be in the first floor. The truth is, if the level is eight pico curious per liter in the basement, it's probably seven or 7.5 on the first floor. There's not gonna be a huge difference. Now, when you have a situation where it's right at that four picocurie per limit or per liter limit, and you know you're right on either side of having to have your client put a system in, in that situation, be uh, concerned about whether it's the basement or the first floor. But otherwise, it really isn't going to make a huge difference. But so that's the rule: the lowest livable level of the home. If you guys have any more questions on this comment below uh, or contact me at uh, radonremovalandhomesolutions.com or radonremovalhomesolutions at gmail.com. All right, have a great day.